Miracles from Heaven is directed by Patricia Riggin, who directed last year's The 33, the, the movie about the miners that got trapped. I really, really enjoyed that movie. And this movie is directed by her as well. And it stars Jennifer Gardner, along with a lot of supporting cast and a lot of kid actors. And it's a true story of this little girl that gets this stomach disease where she can't digest food. And then the family's dealing with that. And then what ends up happening is she falls from this tree and then ends up getting healed. And then she says that she, like, went to heaven. And, like, when she comes back, she comes, like, the, the, she doesn't die. She comes back to life. But um, when she comes back, her disease is, like, gone. And she's, like, not injured at all. And it's a miracle, you know? So that, that's what the movie's about. And... It's a movie that I saw the trailer for, and it looks like a hokey, cheesy kind of movie. And I was uh, on the fence about it because it has, like, the whole faith-based thing in there. And, uh, like, those movies so often just disappoint. But I was so pleasantly surprised with this movie to see that this movie is not just sugarcoating faith and Christianity and everything. It, it actually deals with it in a real way. And the performances, I thought, really helped uh, help that, especially from Jennifer Garner. This is really Jennifer Garner's movie. She does a fantastic job as being the mom. Uh, she she she's dealing with this her child going through these things, and she's questioning her faith, and she's she she doesn't know what to do, and she she goes to all these doctors, and she's trying to figure out what to do, and she has some really emotional scenes where she's crying, and she gets really worked up. She did a fantastic job. I really like her as an actress. I think she always adds something to a movie, and her pretty much being the lead in this one, I thought she did a really good job. All the all, all the doctors and everything, especially the main doctor, he did a really great job. You really like him. He's very likable, and you enjoy his performance because you could just tell that he really cares about this kid, and he's doing everything he can to help her. The child actors are hit and miss. The main girl, for the most part, does a really good job. She she She's... I don't know. I feel like she, she's not a great actress. She's not Dakota Fanning or anything, but she, she delivers her lines in a good way. She has some, she also has some really emotional scenes in here that she does really well with, but there's other times where maybe the writing wasn't the best, but <laughs> she does okay. And maybe that's just because she's working off of other kid actors that aren't that great. But when she has scenes with her, her mom, Jennifer Garner, I think that she definitely stepped it up a notch. So maybe working with Jennifer Garner, she was better. But with the kid actors, she had some pretty okay lines in there. But pretty much the whole, everybody in the cast did a pretty good job with their role. Um, I really enjoyed the 33 last year, so I, I looked forward to seeing the, what this director would do. And I thought that she did a good job with this movie as well. And... She she has a very Hallmark kind of style to her. She's she's very, you know, the, the movie looks good, but it doesn't have any distinct style to it. I thought the 33 had a little bit more style to it. This movie's more Hallmark and just, you know, an uplifting kind of feel to it. Nothing, there's nothing, no crazy shots in here or anything. Nothing, no crazy directing. But I thought she did a good job. Her directing wasn't special, but it wasn't distracting or taken away from. It was just, it was good, you know? Um, the story is one that I was actually excited to see how it would play out in the movie because the story is all there, and it's a true life story, so you've probably heard about it, but it's all there in the trailer, so everything that happens in the trailer happens in the movie, and it, it, nothing else happens. It's all in the trailer. So... I already knew what was going to happen. I just wanted to see how it would be played out. And for the most part, I thought it was, it was well done. But there are many, many, many scenes in here that I feel were there, just there for filler. Like, <laughs> there's chunks in the movie where I felt, okay, this is only here so that it's a long enough movie. Because the movie doesn't need to be as long as it is. It actually does run a little bit long it could have been cut down a little bit and it still would have been like a fine uh, running time the movie's longer than it has to be and it definitely adds scenes to it that are just unnecessary and, and it's fine to see you know because it, it's their story and it's what happened but it, it's not a, it's not always interesting it's always it, it's it just plots along a little bit and you you just want to see like her like the big moments and a lot of it, it stops and just takes 
in the smaller moments, which is cool to see because you get to just experience the characters a little bit, and it's cool to character development, but it, it does get a little bit boring. <laughs> Dealing with the faith and all that, this movie really does it well for me. It's not thrown in your face. This is, I, I expected it to be like that. I expected this movie to be like in your face, like, oh, look, the miracles, miracles, look at all, oh, wonderful, blah, blah, blah. No, it, this movie really delves deep into like faith and like questioning your faith and dealing with it and why does God, uh, d you know, cause tragedies and why does God cause you to go through rough things in your life. The movie tackles those questions and it does a really good job with it. And it, it never feels like it's in your face. This is a Christian movie that I feel that not Christian people could see. It's definitely aimed towards them because there's like it's a whole miracle thing and God and all that. And you they'll probably like it more, but I I wouldn't be embarrassed to take a non-Christian to see this movie. I think that they would enjoy it and they'd get some some laughs out of it and some, you know, you tear up a little bit. It's a, it's a pretty emotional little story there. So I was really happy to see that because so many Christian movies don't do that and it's all in your face. This movie really tackles the questions and it deals with them and it like, it, it makes it seem how it really is because being a Christian is hard <laughs> and this movie shows it, you know? So that was a really cool thing to see. Overall, I really enjoyed seeing this movie. It definitely plots along at some parts. It gets a little bit boring, a little bit tedious, but the story is powerful and it's it's enjoyable to see. The performances are really good. The directing's good, not fantastic or anything, but it does a good job. I really enjoyed seeing this movie. Pleasantly surprised that it wasn't awful. <laughs> Uh, overall, I'm going to have to go three out of five for this one. A thumbs up. I recommend it. it. It's an enjoyable movie to see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, you can subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.